five. Okay, so that's a useful skill. Yep. But it's not game breaking. I feel like it can be useful at some point if you have some kind of forest wyvern or if you have some gorillas into your your yep. battlefield because uh, they can be boosted. But yeah, but it's not something like really powerful. You're not gonna be building a deck around his third scale. I saw some. It's just gonna. Be, mm -hmm. But if you build a deck that uses Seed of Sienna, you yeah. might just give him a bit more preference, which is fine. Agreed. There's some new uh, new cards like uh, King Squirrel that can actually boost the uh, AP of seeds. Yeah. And, uh, I did saw some uh, some good some good deck using those seeds, so maybe maybe it will be useful. Yeah. Okay. It's not, it's not uh, bad. It's a good uh, it's a good new ability. Yep. And it's it's not a complete game changer. That's what I don't like. I mm -hmm. like abilities that are kind of like niche. Useful abilities. at some point. Yeah. Yeah. But not like completely changing the game because all the green decks are gonna be swarm decks anyways. Yeah. Or they're gonna have swarm components to them. Okay, so next one is Anil Lulesi. Mm hmm. The famous uh, elf hero. Okay. So the first level 1 upgrade reduces the cost by 1. Which is fine. And the level 2 upgrade... HP. HP. I don't like how they keep changing that up. But yeah, the pattern, but... <laughs> I don't know yeah. why the hell it's different, but whatever, I guess. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, fall over 3, she gets a new ability, cost 2, put 1 Weariness of Forest, Timely Reinforcement, or Power of Union. Uh, Timely Reinforcement is the cat uh, trap. Yep. The Power of okay. Union... Let me see, I'm not, I don't remember what it is. So, Power of Union is... If a creature is set into opponent's defense zone with level 5 or more, increase Doesn't AP of, often. of all creatures you control in the zone by 1. Yep. And... Weariness? Weariness. Weariness. Okay, if there are 3 creatures in opponent's attack zone, after a creature is set into his... Creature zone put two four spirits into your attack zone. Uh, it's it's good. It's good for uh, it's the good for swarming. They have to have exactly three creatures in play, not three or more, which is what keeps this card from seeing any actual play. Oh, that's right. Hmm. It can be kind of useful. It doesn't cost a lot. It only costs two. Uh, yeah. The union costs one, I think. Telling the first one costs one. It's a cute they all cost ability. Which I'm like, it's a cute ability that kind of, you know, thro throws a cur like, you know, changes up the game a bit, but mm -hmm. it's not like back breaking. Yeah. So I'm fine with that. Yeah, me too. It's it can be kind of useful if you're uh, on defense and you're having a hard time. Yeah. The egg, and the echo is why most people use this this hero because uh, it gives you yeah. one more card and then it can just uh, mulligan refresh. Yep. And at level 5, basically she puts two of the traps into play. Mm -hmm. I wish she didn't put two identical traps. That would be my only thing. Like, put one, you know, Weariness of Forest, Timely Reinforcement, Power of Union, and then for the second one, again, randomly put one yeah. Weariness of Forest. But that's just a little nitpicky. Overall, I think she is interesting, and her, like, upgrades are not that powerful, but they do provide some interesting options. Yeah. But she's being mostly used because she's an elf hero, and there's so much uh, elf, as elf creature that use other elf uh, power if you have elves. Like a Fury of the Elves, or... Uh, okay. Anyway, it can be useful. Yep. And next one is Baturkaya. I guess... So the Baturkaya at level one he gains one HP. Yep. At level two. 
Uh, is uh, third ability actually give him one more additional one mana? Extra mana? Yes, I would have preferred if they reduce the cost of it. But, I mean, it's reasonable. Yeah, it's Basically, right. it's gained three mana once you have seven mana. Mm -hmm. It's good. Most uh, yeah. good creatures from uh, green actually use five, so you can do some kind of combo. Yep. And... At level 3, his second ability becomes a lot better. Yep. So that's nice. He It becomes basically one... W basically, you gain an extra attacker because your hero is going to attack too. Yeah, it can be useful. If you have some uh, weapon item into your... And you can make uh, this ability happen, you can do a lot of damage. Yep. At level 4, he is... Going up to what they call it, 20 HP. Yep. And at level 5... His third ability actually switch to something more defensive. Uh, he destroy a creature opponent controls with level 4 or less on attack zone. And then if that creature that has been destroyed uh, is being replaced by one third spirit. Yep. I think it's well, it's really bad. The thing is, it doesn't hit level 5 creatures. If this could hit level 5 creatures, yep. it would actually be good. Mm -hmm. And again, it completely changes his ability round. I'm really not a fan of that. Because that effectively means that now, if you want to like have all the options, you have to have two versions of this hero. Yep. So next guy is the Murat as Divar, I guess. Yeah, sure. And let's see what happens to him. Okay, so I figured it out. Creatures with 19 HP, they gain their second, a uh, they gain their first HP at level two. All the other creatures gain at level one. Mm -hmm. So that's the like what they did. It c I can see how it could be useful for balancing reasons. But let's see what happens now. So at level two, uh, the, the cost second, of the skill, second yeah. skill goes down by one. That's mm -hmm. fine. At level three, the first skill uh, get one more ASP. Uh, again, that's fine. Like th these are the kind of upgrades I like, where it's kind, where it's useful, doesn't completely change the here round, and but it's still. And it's not like really powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay, at level four he gains one HP. Level five he gets an interesting option, uh, utility skill. Yeah. Kind of like landfall for three cost. Yeah, it's basically landfall. Mm -hmm. It's great. But I it like only it. hits uh, level four or less rather than level six or less. Give him some kind of options uh, for yeah. three mana. Which is great because both of his ability before was five. Yep. Uh, again, I have no problem with that. It's a u it's a useful skill, but it doesn't do anything that like you would build a deck around. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I have no problem with that. He is an example of a guy that I like. How he's aggressive uh, hero. This guy is though, but it's yep. uh, four three 